primitive animalistic uh, experience. This is about another time, another place. Um, we are given two characters who are um, not only hunting, but it seems like they're being hunted as well. We see the struggle that they both have as characters here, and we see that one survives and one does not. And we see this, it's the costume design and the hair and makeup and the special effects that sort of take place here. It's nitty gritty and it makes you feel, it makes your skin crawl and be on edge. Honestly, the production design team did a really good job at creating, you know, these animals and their carcasses and um, knowing that no animals were harmed in this film and so being able to see all of these moving pieces within this piece um, and still feel uncomfortable um, I think was definitely the intention of this piece um, and it was really cool to be able to see that um, explored and just kind of seeing you know, a woman doing what she needs to do in order to uh, survive and bring life into this world. I felt the desperation and drive to survive. And it's because of these really emotionally packed performances. Costume design was very authentic to me. The gruesome opening scene, um, which I thought would be the most gruesome scene, and it wasn't. Um, the sound design, another thing that I call out uh, that I really enjoyed when he was hunting what he thought was this fox, but it was really hunting himself, the heavy breathing and the slow, heavy breathing and the sound of the animal and that sort of slow down sound design, I thought, you know, really built the suspense. Um, the primal afterbirth scene was not mentally prepared <laughs> for that. Um, kudos to the prop department I don't know whoever gets all that stuff together like I don't know I don't know how you guys did it but this one could kind of go in horror I don't know this can go in a lot of st this is going a lot of categories um but I enjoyed it I I definitely was intrigued um for it to have such you know a little dialogue I still felt very connected to the performers the first thing that hits you right off the bat is the cinematography because that forest was so stunning. And the filmmakers really did it justice. The director of photography, the way that they lit this was just absolutely breathtaking. Um, they definitely created such a cool story and brought the viewer into this world with them. I think that they dotted all their I's and they crossed all their T's. The costumes were amazing. And as well as their use of language, the, the language that the main actors were speaking to each other, everybody was so believable. I mean, even down to the point of, I guess, where she was cleaning the animal at the beginning. I'm not sure if it was a fox or not. Uh, but yeah, it everything was so incredibly well done. It seemed like it came from a different world a time lost in space, whether it was this world or not, it captured it very well with characters living in the wilderness, with foxes being their enemies. Um, the clothing made me think maybe it was a different time period, but it's possible they're just people who have been living out in the wilderness for a long time. But the film itself is impactful. It's beautifully shot. It has a lot of gorgeous cinematography. It shows the hardship of living out in the wilderness where you're struggling to survive. It really shows it where you actually thought at first everybody was going to die instead of just the man. It's still a bleak outlook for the woman, but it's really looking shocking. That was the film. It was kind of shocking. It was unexpected as beautifully as it was shot and scored the whole story is just so unexpected which makes it a nice surprise for a film to watch gritty is the best word i can use to describe foxes a lot of the practical effects are very 
believable. <laughs> the entire film feels very raw, gritty, dirty. There's always this sense of just something being wrong. Uh, both characters feel like they're in great distress throughout the entire movie, and you 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 feel it. Um, and I'm guessing the ending is very symbolic of kind of the circle of life where a life was born into the world and a life was taken away. I think there is this overall sense from start to finish, like haunt or be haunted, which is quite um, scary sometimes. And then, in fact, we end up with the final shocking twist where one of our main characters is killed in a horrible way. But I think overall there is a great approach to the film, great usage of cinematography that really makes you feel the nature around the characters, the environment, and ends up this the overall film ends up being like a very engaging um, short story with, as I say, the shocking twist in the end that really like keeps you there on the edge of the sea. The performances of the two cast members were just incredible, so raw, so visceral. You could really sense their struggles and discomforts. Notably, the pregnant character, the birthing scene was so painful and intense. I thought the ominous nature and sound effects were perfect to set this tone of the piece set in ancient times. The rough wardrobe, tools, and facial makeup were very believable. Mm -hmm.